Hey, Brian. So I'm on Ms. Mass Court. Real quick, but before I go into number six, I wanted to show you how close you are to the 17th. Um, right there, you can see where they're breaking down the stands from the Heritage, but the 17th goes behind these townhouses over that way. This is where we have our Hilton Head Prep alumni social on Heritage Saturday every year. And number six is right here across the street. There are some folks staying here, but they graciously allowed a showing for me today, and then my car is here. Um, so I, I'm sorry that I had to cover up. I have been in this house before. Several months ago, I showed it to uh, another client. I don't know if it, I'll have to ask the listing agent She's actually on my EXP team. Um, so she and I are in the same brokerage. I love this house. I loved it when I showed it last year. I don't know if it just didn't sell because it was near Christmas. And so they took it off the market and then brought it back on. I, I don't, I'll find out. But this house is so well done. It was renovated in 2018, I think. Um, you walk in and it smells good. Okay, I like to point that out. It smells good. It is being sold furnished. Liz, the listing agent, let me know that she had actually chosen to show, um, or in the pictures for the MLS, she had chosen to um, virtually add furniture, um, like a different type of furniture but um, this is the actual furniture in here that is for sale. So I think that she wanted to have maybe a little bit more updated look to give the buyer an idea of, you know, what it would look like also if the furniture was updated. This staircase here, this is so early American Hilton Head. The first home we ever lived in in Hilton Head had a staircase just like that. I love it. I love it, I love it. It's just cool because it's open. Um, I remember uh, my mother had a little desk under there um, where she could, it was kind of her nook where she could make phone calls and stuff. Anywho, um, so you've got a nice deck out back. What's nice about the remodel is that they didn't ignore the patio, so they updated the um, privacy um, decking or whatever you want to call it, fencing, steps that go right out there to the backyard area. The, the grass back here is normally beautiful, but, um, because we've just ended the heritage, this was, this, it was used as a staging ground for vehicles and parking and whatnot for part of the CBS crew. Anyway, um, let's see if I can get myself out of here. Sorry, hold on. I don't know how to open it. Okay, sorry about that. Maybe I can go out another door. I love the way this was updated here and shiplap installed with hooks. A little, you know, like take your shoes off and hang your coat up. This is the master. I can't describe to you how good it smells. It's like there's some sort of designer fragrance going on in here. I mean, it, it's kind of the thing where I feel like it's being piped in from somewhere. Like a this, that smart thing where they um, infuse or whatever the word is. Nice feature here is this skylight, so it lets in a lot of light. Updated, excuse me, updated closets here on both sides. I don't know if the people staying here uh, are the owners or friends and family or if it's a renter, 
but it was super nice of them to accommodate us for the showing. Figured out how to do that. So here you have more decking over here off the master. Leads around to where I just was from the living room. I wanted to see if we had any sort of a little pink boo view. Yes, we do. So right there, ding, 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 is the Cal, excuse me, the Calbuki Sound looking out over to Defusky Island. You are right here. This is it. That's the 18th of the PGA Tour RBC Heritage Golf Course, Harbortown Golf, Golf Links. How fun would it be to be down here at this location during Heritage? Wow. You could be here, use it that week for yourself, or you could rent it for top dollar. Now, there are two rooms upstairs, so let's go upstairs. Hold on. Stay with me. All right. I love the floor. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so here we go upstairs. All right, so the, the back bedroom has its own balcony. Again, updated. You've got the view out there. Look at that. I'm giving this whole idea a big thumbs up. This furniture here is pretty early American Hilton Head. Early American Wicker. If you painted that white, that might could work or replace it. Nice high ceilings, no popcorn. The ceilings in the whole um, villa have been removed. Lots of storage space. This is one of those, I can't remember exactly the year they were built, probably something like 1973. So you have a lot of storage space because they're older. These are built to live in as well as a second home. You do have three full baths, so all bedrooms have an ensuite bathroom. You know, this is a rental. That's the amenities that the Royal Company uses. No skylight in this bathroom, but high ceiling, so it doesn't give you, an, and bright, you know, so it doesn't give you that sense of being, um, you know, in a cave, nice and light and airy. Nice to have a chandelier and then, oops. Hold on, I, this is so silly. Okay, hold on one second. I need two hands. Okay, it's locked. Uh, this is the, st the laundry closet. The front bedroom. No, I think those beds are cute. That's cute. Two big closets. Twin beds, balcony. Looking out over the street and onto the other townhomes across the way. You have a little peekaboo of the end of the 16th, beginning of the 17th of the Harbor Town course. And then this bathroom. I think, I don't exactly remember, if at 1.5, I think it's 1.55 or 1.595 or something like that. It's a good price for this. I'm giving this a big thumbs up. If this kind of footprint works for your family, uh, Liz, the agent, said that she was going to send me via email the rental, either history or projection or both. I'm not sure what she was getting, but she was just getting it. So um, as soon as I have that, I'll send it over to you. When I was down here, I didn't show you the... Um, this room back here that goes to the garage. 
Oh no, here's the laundry. Okay, so the, I was wrong. The closet upstairs that's locked is probably just being used as an owner's closet. Um, this is the most awesome thing about this laundry room is that you have a place to fold. Oh my gosh. And that you've got some storage there. And then you go right out here to parking, a garage. Again, that's locked, but it's a owner's closet. You have more storage there. You can, this is a gate, so it manually has to be opened, but at least you have a, a spot to put a car. So you can get easy three cars, probably four, if you really um, uh, um, whatever the word is, you know what I'm trying to say. All right, um, it's probably gonna take me some time to get this to you because I have to be hooked up to Wi-Fi and it's gonna be some time before I get to Wi-Fi today, but I will send it to you ASAP. All right, thanks, bye.